Chizdu's offense is, is what makes him so unique is that he'll play the lamest you'll ever see and then at a moment's notice, he'll get incredibly aggressive on you and you, you aren't ready for it almost every single time. The magic word to describe Foxy's play style is discipline. A lot of players out there, don't, they're not really prepared to be as patient. I mean, you can pay attention to the way Foxy plays. Sometimes he will sit there and do literally nothing. It he is, will it do is very absolutely aggravating. Nothing and just wait for you to do something and react accordingly. Shang Tsung, an amazing character, especially in Warlock, at just forcing something out of you. The thing about Johnny Cage is he's got range and he's got fireballs too. This could be an extremely long range game. I think uh, that the name of the game here is going to be game. discipline. It's yeah. going to be how can combat handle that play style? Can he implement his own? Because Foxy's a very hard player to implement your own game plan against. And that's why I see out of Foxy so much. Well, Being able to control the away. pace of the match. It, it's, he's so good at it. We know both of us have played against him. It's frustrating. Very frustrating. I'm not going to vent it here. But I can't wait to see this match go down. I have no idea how to call this one. Combat is really on quite a tear for yeah, such a young is, player he as is, well. He's one of our youngest competitors in the pro competition. One of the youngest. He doesn't look like it, but let's yeah, never forget it. It's <laughs> he very is, impressive. He, he's been on fire here a little bit lately, um, winning, a, winning a bunch of big online events, you know, uh, coming into this. Didn't have the best finish to the pro competition season. Once upon a time, I beat Shinnok. You know, you have a colorful imagination. Look it up. I laid him out. Like Shang Tsung Ooh. totally did not believe him there. That's rude. But, you know, combat, ECT, NEC, the last two premier events of the pro competition, didn't have the results that he wanted, but started to pick things up. You know, there was that long break a few months before Final Combat began and really started to, to kind of refine himself. And that's why he finds himself here on the winner's side of this bracket. But Foxy lies in wait on the other side of the bridge saying, you want to come across this bridge, mate? Get through all these ground eruptions. And so far, Foxy, a decent lead, but got to watch out for the range. That's really the game of footsie we're looking for. Foxy, he's going to play projectiles, but he's going to keep his eye on Johnny Cage's mid. Low profiling right there. The low profile is such a dangerous tool. Amp again, just for a full combo set, full screen combat. The second Ooh. fatal blow becomes a possibility. Cage can expand, but the forward two with punish and just keeping it unbreakable. Spend the crushing blow, get rid of it, and a very comfortable round one round for the boy from the UK. Slight. And if there is any weakness of Johnny Cage, it's when you can finally, and I mean when you can finally, get that character to whip just like you saw there. And have the reactions and punish that Foxy had on deck. Now he's letting the bodies hit the floor here. It's nothing but metal here at Final Combat. I mean, he's going in for so many corpse drops. And so far, you have to remember, so much damage for a single corpse drop that it's one of the better projectiles in the entire game. Staggering the 1-1. One, one. You respect the 1-1-4, one, one, the 1-1-2 one, one, opens up these free grabs. It's either heal from forward throw, full screen from reverse, active frames of the down four. Or, or that with the 1-1, one, one, you're, you're, you're trying, to get, try, trying to bait you out of reading that throw. And now here comes Foxy, thrown out again, respect, but probably expecting the overhead follow-up. All right, a nice grab. Think about Johnny Cage, he sends you pretty far away for a successful grab, and that's kind of where Shang Tsung wants to be. He doesn't, though, want to be in the corner. Foxy. Ooh, no, no fear, just swing it out. That is not as easy as it looks. It is very difficult to do, and to do it on the world stage, Foxy. All right, look at Strong here, the whip! The whip. Oh, no, the, was, was, that, was that a whip for a block? I couldn't even tell it was right in his face! I think he just slightly <laughs> misjudged the range of that shadow kick. It looked 100%. like it was right here in his face. But misjudging the range of it, and some moves from combat that looked a little bit desperate, a little bit of desperation. Yes. Problem is, yeah, he's going to get us. This is exactly what Shang Tsung wants That's you exactly to do. That's exactly what Foxy wants to do. Yeah. He's, he's, he's all about frustrating you, and the moment that you're frustrated, it's almost as if you, you've defeated yourself. Now he's changed to Geras. Uh, this is a straight up counter pick in some ways. There are a lot of Shang players out there that say they do not like this matchup. Especially if it's going to be Infinite Warden, which combat has gone with. That's right. Remember, the Sand Trap, it trades favorably. You become invincible, you don't really have to eat projectiles anymore, and then Shang has to really play your game. This matchup, I mean, you can win any matchup, but this one, a little bit tricky. Unfortunately, though, for combat, getting clipped by the 1 1 4, going in for the charge just to keep the corner positioning. And Foxy. he's going to respect the frames of forward 2 4. Has a lot of knowledge about Gears as well. This is one of Foxy's pocket characters that, that we've seen him break out. He even in tournament. We saw it during the Intercontinental. Whoa! And he gets the combo as well. Doesn't want to go in for the ground eruption. It's a bit funky to combo that in the corner. Unless you're just outside of it, it will actually whiff. So you don't really get a lot of damage here. Going for the, the jump kick, the whiff. The whiff. Jumped himself into yes, the corner. the positioning Aquaman. That's not where Foxy wants to be. What an interrupt. And he waits for the breakaway. Doesn't want to spend it. Oh! That was an Infinite Warden specific blow up by a Foxy Grandpa. Sensational read right there. That was that was Round combat trying to throw that out and you know 
reestablish his turn with that gauntlet. In Infinite Warden, there's going to be a big gap, but it is plus on block and taken nice. away. I didn't know he had the Juno chop loaded. As long as you're going to be whipping those sand traps, eventually you're going to get a crushing blow sooner or later. And right now, probably a neutral duck there from Foxy getting clipped by the Raw Forward 2. No counter hits can had. Oh, tries to go for a down 2, I can imagine, off that cross up, but the body splash have another plan. Tried to do a back to back. That's pretty hard against the active frames of that splash coming in. It's going to be another one. No, we're going to get some Gearus loops to take the round. Waste my this time. is really the kind of matchup change and why combat's gone in with Gearus. He really wants to just blow through projectiles and avoid trading. And this is why. This is the one move that makes this matchup a bit tricky here. Foxy waiting for his turn. He's going to take a low. Oh, neutral jump could have been a lot more, but Foxy, all combat, neither player. Oh, big with there. Magnet arm, plus frames, no, flawless block. And the wonderful flawless block out here, breaking, causing the breakaway there from Foxy. The longer this pro, pro competition has gone along, the more we're starting to see that higher level gameplay catch up. And here at the World Finals, we're seeing it on its best display possible. Wonderful hit confirmation here, no breakaway. This be some big old Gearus damage. The crushing blow out of the corner. He wants to put Fox on life alert here. Okay, wake up. We're gonna get a tiny bit of life back against Gearus though, not really gonna help you too much. And a wonderful throw escape. Oh, another Great one. Tech. And a down one. Oh my god, this is the opening he needs. Break the game away. is now too oh, late on the fatal the blow. Raid. But I feel like that would have had a better chance at working if he break away. Yeah. Because remember, break away, you're actually in the air for a little bit He actually bit may longer. have read that, which was, which was unfortunate. It's, it's the small thing that some people miss, right? Where if you're launched by mostly crushing blow launches, if you don't, if you don't do a breakaway, you fall a little bit faster. Now, yeah, the change. He's gone in with Kung Lao. Giras is one of the matchups that he does not pick Shang into. And this is going to be a game of constantly going back and forth with characters because the fact is, combat plays one of the characters that forces you to pick Kung Lao. And in this situation, you know, if, if Foxy were to win this with Lao, if he wins it convincingly, combat's probably going to change away and it's going to inspire a, a Shang pick again. Yeah, there's there's going to be an immense back and forth. Is, it, is this our first counter pick war here at Final Combat? If you want to get here, the Z had thrown out. And this is a variation that you really only see out of Foxy here in the latest stages of the tournament. Right, tries to wake up Roll, but it's going to get chased down by the grab. Combat looking nice and comfortable. Garrus, he can go through all the patches in the world, but that mix up of middle grab remains the same. Tries to test the waters with the teleport. We know now that ain't going to work. Yep. Unlikely Foxy's going to go to it. A few put, more that times. Card, put that card back in the sleeve for another day. I see you are a man of culture as well. Oh no! 4 2 clips him again. And combat. This dearest pick just oh. aim for itself at the moment. Doesn't get the full combo, but a bleak situation for Foxy. Goes for it just in case, but realistically, that round was already over. Yes, almost shades of combat from that game number one, where we're actually starting to see the frustration possibly out of Foxy. I mean, Gearus is a character you'd never expect him to be defensive, but he can be. Some, of, some of the best Ooh. backwards movement in the whole game. And he's going to sit in respect. Ooh. The duck. No answer there from Foxy, though. Looking for it. Forward four. Really loves that mid. This one can be looped thanks to the speed of Kung Lao's down three. But this time, no, you oh expect. Oh, my That's God. Like, yes. you thought. He, he, it looks like he baited combat and they're trying to interrupt it. You know, he put those, those frames out there. The startup frames, Ooh. the cancellation. Absolutely beautiful. Bro, Foxy, the big read from Combat of the Down 2. If you're going to play as grab heavy as Foxy does, you can be prepared to win a whole round on grabs, but you've got to be prepared to lose it. It's that double edged sword effect that's well, damn it. Look at that off of a down two crushing blow still hitting for 520 damage. Win. And now next to whoa, whoa that last second up. breakaway. And now we have a fatal clutch. blow. We're in territory for it for the win victory. Absolutely clutch. And the fatal blow's in play. Oh, he just oh, made it. Oh, my God. You know, if that was pre patch, that might have worked. But Maybe. thankfully, in the recent You're change, right. remember the armor of fatal blow activates on frame eight rather than five. I'm not even sure he had the health in that Sorry. situation to, to absorb the head. I mean, I think it was a risk he was going to take. However, knocked down again. Damage. And what's the play? Just sits and respects it. Nice and patient there from combat. The ball's really in Foxy's court to make something happen here. Realistically, in this game of a counter pick war, you kind of need to win a game each. That first win matters so much here that if Foxy interrupts 2 1 2 1 2, boys! Yeah, come out breaking into that gauntlet, maybe a little too much here. All right, here we go. Foxy Another grab. Up. On the offense, which is going to be, throws out that Z hat plus 8,422 and going into the throw. I mean, the down two, I believe, has already been used. So he's kind of like, well, you've already used one of the big punishes here. Not as much to fear, although this is infinite. What oh. damage with and another grab, reverse. A knockdown, and it's a scary position for combat. So real. And that's not forget, and the confirm. Ouch, that's it, Foxy. 
This game of counterpick, you have to take it one match at a time. Whoever wins the first game kind of gets that advantage because you get the final counterpick. If Foxy lost that game, he would be the one in a terrible position. Now, Combat's got to make a hard choice here. Does he stick with Gearus? Or does he just go for something? Because he plays so many characters. Of that's all right. the players that exist in this top 16 bracket, Combat plays the most characters. And that says a lot with someone like Tekken Master in the bracket. I would say given how that last match went, I would almost I would, I would almost say stick with Gearus with how close that was. Oh yeah, that just came down. Honestly, that just came down to what Foxy does in hat tricks. Forces you to guess. He's gonna do Z hat and at close range, it's gonna be a mid or it's gonna be a grab. Kung Lao, thanks to the one two cool. auto shimmy working the way it does means you don't have to quite dedicate to forward four like you did before, which makes that grab versus button game a lot scarier. Because one two one on block, one two comes out. On hit, one two one comes out. Yes. There's no hit confirm needed, it just does the work for you. But if Foxy wins this, this will be a great result for him. I think that that, that combat's making that decision of it was close. If I'm able to overcome it, you know, probably gives himself the best chance at victory here. You know, rather than risk potentially being counterpicked in that game number five. Well, if he if he were to win this game, no matter game, what, this Foxy is this is betting exactly, it all here. Yeah, I mean, if he wins this game, Foxy can't exactly go back to Shang because it's a matchup he doesn't want to play. Immediately clipping him with that forward two in combat. Score in first blood and forcing an early breakaway. Really kind of best case scenario. Foxy, with loads of life to spare, goes for an interrupt that doesn't quite work out. Minimal punishment on the gauntlet. And here's the grab. Ready for the escape and one hit, has gotten hit from every single time. The 4 to one has combat. We go into the corner, no. A little bit. Clean ender. 32% but into knockdown, yes please. That, that ender giving him kind of Premium, oh premium Oki situation for him. It's been another hit confirmed, no breakaway available for Foxy. Yeah, and that is going to do it. Bit of an awkward round for Foxy then. You Swinging buttons, individual time. buttons that were whiffing, not connected, and just whiff punished immediately. Combat, that was just really Fort. his round through and through. It was, it was really that one whiff punish that just set everything in motion for combat. Here comes another one, the judo chop. What's for breakfast here? Oh, finally a throw second out from Foxy. Put <laughs> that <laughs> in the ground. Please do your own medicine right here. Again. That and is that is hard. the mix-up. You talked about it earlier. You know, we, we, we were kind of off-stream and saying that that's, that's been the mix of a walk-up, mid, or throw. Oh, wow. Not sure what that was from Foxy. I'm um, assuming the down two was not what he was after. But a bit of a ropey game from him so far. And combat has been taken full advantage. Knocked into the corner. He still has the life lead. Foxy's the one in, under pressure. He's got to make a choice here. It's a yeah. Oh, my goodness. The execution. Please. Oh, my. I'm not <laughs> sure that's what he wanted. <laughs> this is insanity. Well, you know what, that ain't combat's problem. He's going to get a full combo here. Get an ender two, knockdown. Doesn't really matter the final Ooh, oh, the short hop kick, you never see that. Oh my god, what is going on? The whiff dive kick as well. This is absolute madness, Aquaman. But wait a minute, the fatal yeah. blow. Beyond looking for fatal blow, here oh goes up god, on the throw. Right? And, and you know you know what Foxy wants to do here? Throw again. Oh, oh, the hell going to get the confirmation? Oh, oh, the oh, oh, oh no! What was that? I don't even know. That was supposed to be forward four. It had to be. Oh, no, had how do you forward oh. four and down four come out? That was, I think, uh, one of the... Uh, you Actually, I've never seen that input error in my yes. life. That's a first. That's definitely a first right there. That was going to be a forward four. That was going to be a fatal blow combo into round win. Thank you very much. But it goes to show, like, this level of play, it can happen there was to a, anyone. There was, truly. A, there was a lot of scrambles in that round, in that corner. There was a lot of side switching. There was a lot of drops, a lot of... I mean, I feel like right now, Slayer's just whips. going, Hey, bro, don't do that. Don't do that again. You know, when you want to do forward four, to press forward and yeah. forward. No, not down forward, dude. That, that doesn't come out. If I was a coach, I would just say don't lose. That's the kind of advice it's Foxy would so give you. It's so easy. To be fair. I don't know why more people don't do it. Whenever someone asks Foxy, how do I become a better player? His, his common answer is, don't get hit, bro. I think, that, I, I think that, 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 that was one of his notes coming in the final combat. Oh, hang on. Oh, of course. Whoa. Now, Night Wolf, this is a character from Foxy we have not seen in a while. In quite some time. A uh, very unorthodox pick. I just pick. heard the entire crowd start, start starting up the ooze. I don't think anyone expected this pick. However, it fits his game plan of grab versus button. Oh, they're, they're all howling. One, 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 one. Our entire crowd here is howling right now for Night Wolf. Are we going to get that win pose? Are we going to be howling at the moon? Oh, and tries to down two again and the punishment to start off our I game number admit, five. I, I am quite fearful about this change. I, I don't know how. Oh, hang on. One, one, one. Immediately forcing a breakaway. And that basic game begins. One, one, one. An amazing auto shimmy. I think a grab for the company commits to the end. Mayhem from combat. The full risk, but it does pay off. And it just throws off your comfort zone. You think it's your turn, you have to wait for it. The sand trap, 
Doesn't come out, and oh, oh he's making all the right that, reads. That was combat. one of the most combat things I've ever seen. Get hit by a poke, and what's your response? Hold up, the king of the north. And he's Gets dead. him with the oh. choke. Match, match point now point. for combat. This Nightwolf pick, we need to see something come out of it now, but so far all that's really happened is that clean 1-1-1 one, one, one at the start, and that's kind of it. Combat has made some wonderful reads, forcing these kind of reverse guesses on the body the exact same way. 4-2-1, the jump, no full combo, and reactionary block, I like it. Ooh. And you know all the conditioning of those gauntlets is, is what kind of let him get, get away with that 4 2 one two. You know, Nerf has the gap, lets it rip there and still gets a 126 off of that. Reset of the neutral, that's a good day. The office, the micro crouch, I didn't even see it! That is the fastest micro crouch I have ever seen. He didn't move. And the 1-1. One, one. Iron defense here from combat. Foxy almost went in for a whip on his there, but didn't the last minute clean out. Yeah. And there's the uppercut. Rhino charge to end. Oh, Just wait for the whip! I want you to press! And thank you very much. Rhino charge knocked down. Combat, is he gonna swing? Is he gonna Shall swing he a bit? Get it's, it's Foxy the one that misfaces the jump kick and gets punished by combat. We're gonna see some massive damage here. Double fatal blow territory. And now fatal blows in play. If combat hits him once, that's it. He's gonna win the round and the game. But Foxy, what's the play? Both players can confirm quickly. Watch out for the whiff. This is so scary for both players. Foxy needs this round desperately. Oh my it's goodness. Good. He's still good. One more guess. Guess for game, boys. That was the risk. It's going to be a grab. No, the back oh, go. No. Didn't it's hit confirm in a fatal blow. And just like that, it was two. Two of them catch up where he had round winners right here in front of him. And it's the execution that's not going to uh, do it for Foxy. Combat going to take it three to two. Another game five. In Foxy's defense, forward one, two outside of the corner doesn't combo into Fatal Blow, it whiffs. Wait.